This episode is sponsored by Squarespace. More on that later. Everybody, welcome back to Witness Goodness. You may or may not remember, but last episode I brought my tractor home. I didn't show the footage of me loading it up, etc. But I am Son's tractor on the property, so I'm a little winded because I had to bring everything up. Anyhow, we're here. What are we doing today? No idea. How's my knee feeling? Pretty good. Where are we? We're in central Virginia, in the Virginia mountains. Who am I? I'm Canadian. My name is Graham, but I live in the United States of America. And I love this country. It is an absolute beautiful day. The weather is starting to turn. It is starting to feel like fall. It's September now, and this is one of my favorite months in Virginia. Summer's coming to an end. You still get nice, warm, hot days, but evenings are cool, mornings are cool and everything starts to change. The colors on the trees start to change. And cozy weather that I can look forward to, which will motivate me to get this cabin buttoned up. I still have one more piece on the peak of the roof to do. Uh, I'm still just a little bit stiff to be up there. Uh, so we're gonna wait one more week and then I'm gonna get up there and finish the roof. All right, so winter is fast approaching and uh, you know, we, we still have a ways to go to close up the cabin. Priorities is prep the front or make sure everything is good to go for windows. The front of this cabin has one, two, three, four, five, six windows to go in. And that will basically close in the cabin other than the door. So we're going to try and knock off some preparatory stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing up there that my peak extension, whatever you want to call it, I put three screws in and every screw missed. So we're gonna have to go up there, fix that. I can use my nice hanger nailer. It's gonna be a good time. I've got mouse traps set out. Uh, you know, a lot of people are concerned about the rodent problem that, that I've welcomed <laughs> on, on the cabin site. Uh, it just, they just come to me, you know. I'm an extrovert, I'm a people person. And I think animals have picked up on that and they want a little bit of Graham. They want a little bit of the woodness goodness specialty. They want to feel included. They want to be here for a good time. And you can't blame them. You know, like, it's, it's just part of the energy that this YouTube channel uh, exudes. So, oh. It looks like a mouse nest. All right. Good news, folks. The mouse has fallen for the bait. How many mice are there here? Oh, two mice. Okay. <clears throat> See? Two mice. I don't know why I've had this rock wool insulation here. I think I've kept it because I hate throwing things away. This has just been sitting here. We're gonna just toss it because the mice have been into it. <laughs> I 
How's that feel? That <laughs> feel pretty good. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a good thing I'm not scared of heights. Or scared of dying. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't want to die. I'm going to end up putting some LP smart side under here and it's going to slip under my gable end trim even more, which will be great. Okay. So yeah, I put three screws in here and they all missed. So we're going to take them out, put some nice brackets in there and use my hanger nailer, also known as a metal connector nailer. fine. All we need is a little solar to keep us going. It's a hornet's nest. That ain't good. Getting stung up here would not be ideal. Would not be ideal if I got stung. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of them. Let me show you what I'm dealing with here. So you know, I'm telling the truth. Kind of hard to see, but in that crack there. Oh, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. <laughs> we're getting out of here. I've got some uh, gear hugger multi purpose lubricant. And the thing with wings is they don't work when they're got oil on them. But I also don't know if I want to do this. Oh boy. Run, Graham. Run. Oh, one fell on me. Oh, see, they're falling. See this guy? He don't, his wings don't work. So you're gonna get, oh. See? He dead. Look at this guy. Just a lubricant. It's killing them all. You're dead. Ah! 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 <laughs> that guy was not dead. Run, Graham, run! Remember, you don't need to go buy that like pet those pesticides. You can literally just do it with WD-40 or even better, eco-friendly lubricant. Oh, look at them all up there. You can't see them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Holy smokes! Hmm. How not to start a day on the cabin site? It's really the thrill, you know. I'm just trying to give you guys the thrill of a lifetime. Oh wow, there's so many up there, it's crazy. Okay, well, I guess we're done on this side of the cabin for now. So actually what we could do is go on this side of the cabin and do the drip edge. I've not done the drip edge yet on this side, so that's something we could do right now, I guess. When I brought my family last week, it was just so chaotic, I forgot to snip this. 
So let's do it now. Looks better. By the way, this gun was here, and when I got here, it was down there on the deck, and we got teeth marks here, it ripped off all my grip, probably because it smelled the grilled cheese or something. Now I've not, I've not seen a bear in a while, but I'm also not good at setting these trail cams up. Um, I should be better at it, but there's just, you know, so many things to do, so little time. Might as well check out the dookie den, see how we're doing here. We're going to have to probably burn this structure to the ground. Oh, and then more wasps up there. Oh, hey, Duke. How you doing, Duke? Hey, where are you going? I'm pretty sure the mice were the problem. Duke is just chilling. <laughs> I love how that works. <laughs> Snack break, snack break. Peach, not making any food today. Don't got time, I gotta keep moving here. Holy smokes. That's a delicious peach. I see some dead trees in my view here. Should cut them down. It'll become my firewood. This is difficult. Well, it's actually not too bad. This last bit. 
I'm being methodical right now. That's why I'm not talking much, you know? You know, I'm in the I'm in the process right now. Thinking about life. How this cabin represents life. You think you've come so far and then you realize you messed up along the way. Because when life gives you lemons, obviously you could make lemonade. Or, if you take those lemons, juice them, drink them, plant the seeds, grow a bunch of lemon trees, and then start a multi-million dollar business, I mean, sky's the limit. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really up to... It's really up to you what you do with those lemons, you know? <laughs> Looks pretty good. I noticed that I have not trimmed these deck boards back. So let's uh, keep keep getting all this unfinished business done, shall we? Yeah, baby. We're just, we're getting all the loose ends tied up today. So if you, if you may recall, I had to notch it out, this big beam up here, okay? Meaning I lost about three inches of my two by 12, uh, which also means technically this part of the beam isn't as strong as it used to be, obviously. So. I've got this super heavy duty hanger um, that I'm gonna mount here. And why? Just again, to make sure that this is totally structurally sound. There's a very good chance we're totally fine. But um, I figured why not, you know? This is heavy duty, quarter inch thick. I, uh, you know, I have a problem. And I'm thinking about making a video of this problem sooner than later, but I just collect things and it's a sickness and I need help. I need help. This beam's not going anywhere, okay, people? This will get covered up with whatever it is that we're gonna put on the side. I still don't know what we're gonna do for the walls.
All right, so now we're gonna fix this little peak extension. I, I don't know what you call it, but one thing I didn't do is I didn't run my ridge board uh, with overhang. I just run it, you know, the 16 foot, which is the length of the cabin, without the overhanging eaves. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. So at the very top, you can see where my two roof pitches meet. There's a board missing and a gap. So we're gonna fill that in right meow. Uh, and that little piece of ridge vent or the ridge cap for the metal roof, you can see it's overhanging because that's the piece that I was going to install when I fell. So don't mind that, but we are gonna stick a piece of wood right in there. Let's hope there's no hornets up here. <laughs> This is a great example of why this cabin build has taken so long, you know? Oh my gosh, what am I doing here? <laughs> it's just, you can't make it up. I just, I have to back pedal so frequently it seems. I don't know what to do here, but I guess this is the only way to do it. Getting my steps in today. We're gonna do a quick test fit. It'd be great if we brought a hammer. Because I got my air compressor here, and I wanted to save weight, I brought my old, well, it's not that old, I guess, but yeah. My OG pneumatic framing nailer. All right, so it's come to my attention because I have the world's best fans or viewers. We'll call it viewers. Uh, it's come to my attention that we need to add some more supports in here. So we're just gonna add one more support here on this side. That'll give it some more cross support. Oh, how do I turn rapid fire on this thing? I forget. Here he is. Rapid fire, here we go. Them apples. I can fill some hanger holes too while I'm at it. So you might be asking yourself why I've got these kind of, I think it's a style of hurricane strap, I'm pretty sure, hurricane tie. And the reason is, is uh, it was, these were 16 foot lengths and it was a great way to make sure the centers weren't bowing out. Plus, it's just another good anchor point, and that's why I put them in here. Uh, but we're going to fill in those holes right now. 
and I will show you if you haven't seen this, this is my metal connector nailer, which is the best nailer ever invented. And what I did, you can see I skipped one because they're on the op opposite side. So I go one on this side, one on that side, one on this side, you know, just to stagger my fasteners. I really have a lot of wood in here. <laughs> Holy smokes. This off here. Something like that. All right, we're just moving along here. I think what we're gonna do is just uh, get some Tyvek on the bottom half of this at the very least. Protect that wood, <laughs> not that it matters, <laughs> since it's been unprotected for, oh, so long. I'm not sure if it's necessary, but I am gonna put some nice flashing on the bottom here, protect my structure. It's just like a good catch-up day, you know? All the loose ends are finally, look at this. I had just totally avoided doing this. Any other loose ends? Water is the most vicious thing that can happen to a building. Then we're gonna put flashing on the upside here too. Now that I've seen the weather hit this cabin, I know where it likes to sit. And I just wanna make sure I am diligent. And protecting it. Oh no, flashing. It's a slightly different flashing, but it's, it's the same thickness. It just has the reflective stuff on it. I think we're just about to run out here. Might be almost out of button caps, to be honest with you. All right, we're going to leave this corner. We're gonna leave that corner because I need a little bit more flashing, but. Okay. I keep forgetting I gotta carry everything down, so I might start wrapping up. 
I almost forgot. I brought something special to hang up. I'm hoping the fighter jets see this and know to come give me a private air show. Da, 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 da. Yes, sir, Bob. Yes, we made it. Land ho. Uh. Yes, sir, Bob. It'll probably uncrinkle itself, I think. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're just, we're just here, enjoying the day, enjoying the process, which, which is a thing I've had a hard time with, you know, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> clearly, you're adding things you should have added three months ago, but that's just, that's just uh, the way it is. Anyhow, <laughs> let's just avoid the fact that I'm incompetent and say thank you for watching, guys. Uh, and in the comments below, let me know something that you've been working through and your solution if you've already worked through it, whether it's an emotional triumph or a mountain or a valley or a, a project. Let me know something that you've learned the past week or two that uh, you thought was a challenge, but you overcame it. I'd love to hear it. The one thing that hurt the most was not being able to move like I typically do when I fell on the roof. The injury itself wasn't that bad, and all in all, I am very thankful. I thank God that I didn't get hurt worse. But it's amazing the emotional toll it took on me. Uh, yeah, it was just, it sucks not being able to use your body like you're used to. And again, I'm very thankful. I have all my limbs intact. I'm in good health. But uh, yeah, I had to overcome that in the past two weeks. It was, it was hard at times, but you just got to focus on the little things, you know? We have a lot to be thankful for. Here I am, standing at my favorite place to be, and next week I'm getting back on that roof. Mark my words, that roof is just, that roof is going to call me daddy. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put that roof on a timeout, okay? No popsicles. No, no soda water. You're on a timeout roof. And you, you're going you're gonna to get what's coming. Much love, guys. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one. Peace. Squarespace is my absolute favorite website builder. Their templates are super flexible and you can always customize them to make the website exactly what you're looking for. You can customize your look, update content, and add features to fit your unique needs. Their online store is incredible. I've used other website builders and their online stores in the past, and ultimately that's why I switched to Squarespace. It's intuitive, easy to use, and I can do so much from my phone, which is great. When I make a woodwork project or sell stickers, I can simply take a picture on my phone and post it to my website, Lickety Split. If you're looking for a new website or updating an old one, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash goodness to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.